playground. Daddy turned to fire. Daddy turned to fire. My worship is my work. My worship is my work. This is how I win a battle. First he was fragrant. First he was fragrant. Everyone. And it turns to fire. Oh God. My worship is my work. This is how I win my battle. This is how I win my battle. First he was fragrant. First he was fragrant. And it turns to fire. My worship is my work. of God the hand of God that does great things the display of his splendor always I see all around me he's the stream of life that will never never dry the arm of God the arm of God that does great things in Yoruba, Aka Akaya, Aka Jehovah Nemema, Arabu Beya, Kene Uwari Nedemno, Oh, Isi Ikendu, Kena Digi Ata Ata, Everyone, Aka Akaya, Aka Jehovah ne. Praise the Lord. Take your seat with me for the next few minutes. There is a major shift in the spiritual dimension. Second, um, Kings um, chapter number four. There is a major shift in the realm of the spirit. A major, major shift. And um, this is a major shift that is affecting every aspect of our lives and uh, this is the season that the Lord is about to compensate someone and also to give to someone what you have been waiting for for a long time uh, I'm telling you that um, there is a major shift in the spirit dimension. There is a major shift. I want to thank God once again for my father, Reverend Dr. Victor Secanio. Please help me celebrate my own father. Thank you so much, Papa. I've been able to defy the rain to be here. And there is a miracle, there is a breakthrough that God has released into the atmosphere. And no one here 
is going to ever be the same. I'm telling you by the grace of God. Why do I keep hearing Angola? Angola. Why do I keep hearing Angola? Oh, Leche. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Why do I keep hearing Angola? Those standing at the back, those standing at the back, how many of you are who exactly has someone's number saved on your phone as Theodora? Who you are the one. Yes, please. You have stored this at Studio Dora. Yes, please. Then why are you worrying God? Why are you praying and putting a lot of requests um, to God and troubling him whilst all those things you are still asking for, God has already released it. Amen. <laughs> God has already released all those things Amen. you are asking for. Amen. Because um, I just saw the angel of the Lord. And the angel of the Lord brought me into a dimension. And when I got to that dimension, I saw that uh, someone was still asking for what was already released. Then uh, I saw someone on the phone with a lady. And they were talking about preparation towards the event. And um, you were telling her about the role she will play in that uh, occasion. And, and the Lord said, it is already done. It is already done. It is already done. Amen. It is already done. In Jesus' name. Amen. Um, this line, come to this line. It's okay. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Go back a little bit. 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 Come forward. Um, yesterday you were explaining the difference between a sandals and a, what's the other one? Slippers. Eh? Slippers. Slippers. Yes, sir. And which one is a sandals? Which one is a slippers? Explain so, again. So the sandals has a buckle at the back, and then the slippers. Doesn't. Then, then I'm talking about someone around that area. You say the sandals has what? Has buckle at the back. And the slippers doesn't. Okay, someone in that area is wearing a black. Uh, there's nothing at the back. It's like a full shoe, but no. Uh, look, look the, at me. I'm the one that God called. When God called me, you were not there. 
Yes, I'm sir. explaining and you are looking. How will you even know what I am saying? Yes, sir. I said there is someone there. Uh, there it's like a full shoe. Yes, mm? sir. Um, the form it is covered. Okay. Uh, but the back, it's there is nothing there. Yes, sir. And it is black. Yes, sir. And the person has something like a phone. Yes, sir. And at the back of the phone, it looks like there are colors, colors. I don't know whether it's flowers. Anyone fit into this description? Any, not where you are. Follow me. God did not call you. He called me. Yes, sir. And he gave you a different calling. Yes, so sir. don't try to see if you are helping me. It got me angry. I'm telling you something. So you look at me. Stop describing where you want to describe. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? No, sir. I brought you to Living Waters Assemblies of God. And I sent you to the back. And I said there was someone standing there. And you did not see there was someone. The church, everybody did not. But I, I was still seeing there was somebody standing there. And all of you were scared. And <laughs> come forward a little bit. I said this line. Forget about this. Forget about this. Forget about this. This. Concentrate on this. Yes, sir. This. Okay, brother. Get up. So, aha. Uh -huh. This line that this brother so that it will be easy. Please, there's someone here that fits that description. You fit into it. Um, a phone like Carlos. Yeah. Carlos. Yeah. Okay. Brother, there is a reserved portion meant for you. There is a reserved portion meant for you. And the Lord said, that portion of greatness that is meant for you, no one will try to take it. God will use you to wipe tears out of the eyes of your parent. Amen. For God is bringing you into a place of power and a place of recognition. Amen. And because of that, I see God will change your desire. And your desire will be more towards the Lord and things that are connected to God. This is the word of the Lord. Move and come to two people before him. Who is there? There's a lady here. No. Look at where he was sitting. Okay, there's a lady here. So when you do that, you are worrying me. Madam. The Lord said, keep on doing whatever you are doing. For there is a season coming and the season is close that God will cause the great and the influential to clap for you. Your exploit is going to bring you into a place of honor and out of that, many will celebrate you. This is the word of the Lord. Move two people before her. The Lord said, we should pray for you. The Lord said, we should pray for you. Any condition that would have developed with respect to your stomach, that they would not have been able to diagnose very early. And from the beginning, they will be talking about ulcer. And that by the time they would have discovered, it would have developed into um, um, something very dangerous. I see the angel of the Lord going ahead, even to give you that healing, give you that healing, give you that healing, say the Spirit of the Lord. Two people before her. Madam, get up for me. Um, the Lord said, Get ready that the thing that they said you cannot do. The things that you have been ruled out of them, the Lord said grace will come upon you. 
And out of that grace, you begin to do a lot of great things, saith the Spirit of the Lord. Two people before her. The Lord said, I shall tell you, there is an anointing coming upon you, and it's a strange anointing for ministry. As a matter of fact, there is a call into the office of the prophet upon your life, and the Lord said, what you need is discipline and order. For if you will walk in the place of discipline and order, the Lord said his will shall be perfected, that you'll be one of the greatest prophets who will be raised even in your generation. Two people before him. The Lord will speak to me and I will see an opportunity that will be open even outside Ghana that will look like an opportunity for further studies. And I will see that it will come with a full scholarship and that will take care not only of your tuition, your accommodation to a great extent that even when it comes to your flight ticket, it will cover it, says yes, the spirit of the law. Two people before her. The Lord will speak to me and the Lord will open my eyes and I will enter um, Konongo. I don't know if you have anything to do with Konongo or if you will be going to Konongo. I know that. You know that. The Lord will open my eyes and I will see you going to Konongo. And I will see you will go and meet someone there and for you people to have a discussion. Now immediately you have the discussion, certain testimonies will even start coming out. And out of the testimonies, the Lord will bring you to the place of glory. The Lord said that 14 days ago, I'm seeing a young boy who looks like 10 year old boy specifically 10 year old boy 10 year old boy uh, I don't know if it makes sense yeah. is it 9 going to 10 this year yeah 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 this year. and the concern is 10 year old boy nana ya boa nana ya boa he is my son mm -hmm. yeah nana ya boa and I saw him having a dream. And it's the dream of restoration. The dream of restoration. The dream of restoration. Um, God is going to let you start a magazine. A magazine. A magazine. A magazine. A sports magazine. A sports magazine. God is going to use you to start that sport magazine. And also... A managing, I don't know how to call it, but it will be connected to sports, say yes, the spirit of the Lord. Okay. Can you give the Lord a mighty, mighty clap offering? God bless you. You can take your seat. Mobility. Mobility. <laughs> uh, mobility. Mobility. Uh, whose nickname is that? <laughs> Yo. My junior brother. Your junior brother? Yes. The nickname is Mobility. Yes, please. Hey. He was at Konongo Secondary School. That was where he acquired that name. I can't hear you. He was at Konongo Secondary School. That was when he acquired that name. He was at Konongo Secondary School. So, hey, wow, mobility. Hey, mobility. Mobility. Tell him to be very careful. And tell him to be very faithful. Because his greatness is being careful and not listening to people and being faithful. For if he will be very careful of what he listened to and be faithful to whatever he is doing, the Lord will establish him. 
the Lord will make him great. The Lord will bring him to the place of glory. And the Lord will perfect everything that concerns his life. For there is the spirit of greatness that has been there many years ago. And uh, this thing happened around 1952. Um, in 1952, there was a woman. The woman was cooking. And the woman looks like a grandmother figure. And the woman, when she was done cooking, will call people even to come and eat out of her kitchen. And it was something that she used to do. And out of that, there was a day when a visitor came to that locality and no one was ready to accommodate that visitor. This is 1952. And this woman took the risk and gave shelter to the visitor and fed this visitor. And even when the visitor's time was up, she allowed the visitor to stay for an extra one week. And that was how the visitor left. But before the visitor left, the visitor pronounced some blessings upon the woman and upon everyone connected to the woman. The woman was called Ante Sophia. You are right. I am right. You are right, sir. Why am I right? And that is the right name, Hit. It's the right name that you have held. The right name? Yes, please. For who? It is my auntie. Your auntie? Yeah, she was the one that was taking care of my junior brother when he was young. <laughs> ah, how many people have been called Sophia in your family? There are two. Because I'm not talking about your auntie, I'm talking about grandma. Yes, my grandma is gone. She's gone. What was her name? Sophia, a queer for Sia. Everybody say, Now I will do. Say, You don't know. And about your auntie, I'm talking about your grandmother. And out of what she did, I see that blessing coming upon everyone in the family. It will even affect Kofi. I'm Kofi. You are Kofi? Yes, please. It will even affect Kofi and will bring you to the place of glory. And the Lord said, ah, it is not only you, Kofi. It will affect the other Kofi. Uh, yeah, that, that person is, please. That person is my cousin. Your cousin? Yes. And the Lord said, not only that Kofi, even the third Kofi. It's the Lord said, your brother-in-law. Kofi Frimpon. Yes, Kofi Frimpon. He <laughs> Ibu chukwa nyadi ke, 
The one who is married Papa, to the I, lady, I beg you, the prophecy you gave concerning mobility. He has been here since the program started. But unfortunately, his wife is seriously sick at the hospital. Oh, that is why he's not here. Who is Jennifer? That is his, uh, his wife. See the way you love me. See the way you come for me. You carry my matter for your head. In a bell of being a song. Like a little baby. Uh, she walks over me. You know the take me the play. You carry my matter for your head, oh. In a bell, in a song, like a little baby. You watch over me. You know they take me the play, oh. In a bell, in a song, in a bell, in a song, oh, oh, in a song, oh, oh, in a song. Mobility's wife, they would have killed them at exactly 12 6 a.m. But may I, so those kind of people they are not my concentration because but we we'll deal with it. I mean, I'm talking about people who plan to destroy other people because one prayer pepper will destroy. <laughs> Every of the applied. Papa, oh, yeah. All that you so, are saying concerning mobility is rare because it's faithful to myself. I've employed about almost 50 workers. You have? Employed almost 50 workers. And he's the most faithful worker as a junior brother. And I have blessed him. So I'm not surprised. And you have blessed him? I have blessed him myself. And, and then, then bless me too because. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so, Papa, yeah. it's a confirmation. I trust my God because when I was blessing him, I told him that a prophecy will come that you will be a hero, and I want him to be a hero. Wow. So everyone is going to work under this blessing, and your brother-in-law Kofi Frimpong will work under. And I'm talking about Kofi Frimpong. Who is married to the lady who comes after you, Juliet? Yeah, Juliet is a chatter and killer. She's my backbone. So, Kofi Vrimpon will walk under the blessing too. And Juliet and Juliet will also walk in that blessing. And um, Kobe, Kobe. Kobe is uh, Juliet's uh, son. You said? Juliet's son. Kobe is Juliet's son. Yes, please. He and will walk under, under that blessing to Ah, there is another Kobe. Who is Kobena? Kobena is Kobena Frimpong, the one you made mention of. No, there's another Kobena. Kobena is my son. Uh -huh. He will also walk under the. He will also walk under that blessing. He will walk under that blessing. He will walk under that blessing. He walked under that blessing. Yes, Uncle John did not know about this thing because he was not connected directly. But many years after Uncle John came to the family, he was sensing there was something like that. And so Uncle John has been praying and the prayer has been, Every blessing that is upon every member of the family, everyone should experience. And the Uncle John, I'm talking about your father. 
Yes, my father is Reverend J.C. Dapa. You are right. Eh? Reverend J.C. Dapa. That's my father. The J star for what? John Christopher Dapa. Eh. God is about to cause you to enter a new level, a new dimension. Thank you, Lord. But keep on holding on to your wife. Keep on holding on to your wife. She is a major pillar, a major pillar, and a major protection over your life and over everything that you are doing. The Lord said you have seen nothing yet. The Lord said you have seen nothing yet. And even that lawsuit that they would have brought against you, I see an angel has taken a document and has destroyed it. And the Lord said, it is your portion. Uh -huh. Amen. Married couple, Kofi is which day born? Friday. Eh? Friday born. Your, and Amma is which day born? So, eh? So, you, the man, you were born on Friday. Your wife was born on Monday. He said, the Amma is what? Saturday. Who and who are that? The man. Were you born on Friday? Yes, please. Were you born on Saturday? Yes. Hold your hands. <laughs> Stretch your hands towards them. Hey, we should have prayed for mobility's wife. Remind me, we'll go there now. Stretch your hand and just begin to bless them. When we're done, we'll talk about the rest. Bless them. Fire! We give you glory, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In the vision, I saw there was a load and many were trying to carry the load but they could not carry the load. Then I saw people coming in twos to try and when they came they could not carry it. Then I saw two people coming and they looked like married people and one was called Kofi and the wife was called Amma and I saw they carried the load. And the Lord said that I should announce to the two of you what generations tried but they could not get close. He will not only let you get close but he will bring you to a dimension and in this dimension you will carry out things. And I said, Lord, what would they carry out? The Lord said, you will do so much that the scripture that says a good father, a good mother, a good parent leaves an inheritance for his children's children. That scripture will be part of you. Because by virtue of what the Lord will do with the two of you, the generation that will come after you will not suffer. And the generation that will come after your children will not suffer. But those who will come after your children, your grandchildren, will need the wisdom to plan and to sustain that which has been given to them without struggle. And the Lord said, it shall be done. It shall be done. It shall be done. Say the spirit of the Lord. Now stretch your hand here. Let's use him as a point of contact. And let us pray for mobility. So I've right and lift up your voice and begin to pray. We come against every orchestration and every scheme of the evil one. We overthrow every of their desire. We overthrow every of their intentions. And we speak that let only the will of God even be done. In Jesus' name. Why is it that many are looking down upon you? Get up. Many have not given you a chance. But God is going to give you a chance. God is going to give you a chance, brother. Because 
I see an anointing coming upon you. And this anointing will influence everything that your hand touches. Everything that comes into your hands from today is going to do well. That many will give you an attention. This is the word of the Lord. Get up for me. The Lord said you are a warrior. You are a warrior. Because I saw many things. And I saw like lions were roaring. And I saw you came and you began to roar. And when you began to roar, the sound that came covered all of them. And the Lord said he has put a mantle of prayer upon your life. And this mantle of prayer will give you result in every dimension. This is the word of the Lord. Get up for me. I see the Lord putting a weight upon your life. And this weight is going to be a weight of great responsibility. That God will not only make you a landlady over one house, but I'm seeing several buildings that you are owning even as a landlady. Say the Spirit of the Lord, get up for me. The Lord said you might not be the first. But you will be one of the people that God will raise in your family to bring meaning into your family. That that which people should have done by virtue of the experience, by virtue of the accomplishment, you will do it at a very young age. Get up for me. The Lord is speaking to me and I heard the voice of the Lord. Then suddenly my eyes was opened. And when my eyes was open, I saw the Lord open something over to me. And it was like a file or a document that was open. And when the document was open, I saw an angel took it and handed it over to you. And the Lord said there is something that has to do with the document. It will not go to the wrong person, but it will be given to get up for me. Apart from air, everything that the Lord will do with you, you will also do something in connection with ministry and you will have something in connection with electronics, electronic, like electronic business and you are going to do well in that area. Get up for me. I see the spirit of excellence will come upon you. And out of this spirit of excellence, wherever you find yourself, you shall be the most preferred. Get up for me. The Lord said the spirit of leadership is your portion. For you will lead many. You will lead many and it will bring them to the place of glory. Get up for me. The Lord said out of the pain that you have gone through, he is going to give you a ministry. Out of the pain that you have gone through, he is going to give you a ministry. Get up for me. The Lord said look at at my servant, I have an anointed him, and he will be a radical preacher and a teacher of my word. Get up for me. I see God is bringing an introduction, and out of this introduction, those you thought would never be open will be open to you. Get up for me. Someone is about to commit something into your hand. Someone is about to commit something into your hand. It is meant to try and test your faithfulness. Your ability to be faithful concerning what you will be given will determine whether the person will give you more. And I see this person will be used even as a channel of blessing to open doors to 18 different nations around the world. Get up for me. The Lord said you will sit among the great and the great will serve you. You will sit among the great and the great will serve you. Get up for me. The Lord said anything in the family that frustrates even people in the area of their marriages and their relationship it has been broken even out of your life. Get up for me. Any impending accident arranged by the enemy on on the 17th of November 2021, I have seen the angel has gone ahead and have destroyed even that accident. Get out for me. Any announcement of death, even concerning one of your parents, even this year, the Lord will intervene and only his will shall stand. Get out for me. The Lord said there is going to be a trip even to America and that trip to America there will be an opportunity even for you to minister in a church and by that ministration a lot of doors will open and I will see someone connecting you even to Atlanta 
And as you get to Atlanta, you will meet someone called George and George will be one of the people the Lord will use to open strange doors even for you. You have come, child. My heart, you come to my heart with your love. With your love, everybody say, you are come, child. My heart, you come to His name or her name without the consent of the parent, please. Who changed his name or her name without the consent of the parent? Come. Why? We need to do a spiritual transfer. Hurry up. Why? I added the name King to my name. What was your original name? Judah Inshira Afuakwa. Judah Inshira Afuakwa. Then I added King to my name. Okay, come on, because you are to get me oil. Get me oil. You are two different individuals because. I saw, I was going to this line to minister to them. Then the angel of the Lord touched me. Then I saw that um, an angel was dispatched looking for you. But the angel cannot find you because there is a bit of disorder. Changing your name without... Uh, one day we were traveling... And uh, my, my armor bearer is called um, Stanley Selom Adam. And so Adam is his um, surname, and um, Selom is the middle name. Then they made a mistake and they made it Selom as the surname, Selom Adam Stanley. They said they will not let him board because he's a different person. Another time, either the Adom, they, they made it uh, A D O M M. They say it's not the same person. So today you have been found. And you have been found because there is a major assignment in the area of ministry reserved for you, specifically in the area of the prophetic and also in the apostolic, that God will cause your voice to be heard all over the nation, Ghana, in the nations of the world. And now I stand and I change that which you did, and I bring you back into the right alignment, and we agree, even to that which you have now positioned your name to be. And we ask that let the angels of God, who have sent even to minister to you, let them find you, locate you, and use you to the glory of the Lord. I speak in the name of Jesus, let the heavens even open over your life, and let great things begin to happen. Master, been your platform. Ube pulley, you will pull crowd. Jesus' name. You will pull crowd, but crowds will be pulled. I didn't invite him at it. Remember, I was the one. 
that God used to do this. Remember. In the year 2017, you called me out of the crowd and... 2017? Yes, please. Where? Um, at Old Landry. Old Landry. Uh, those days I used to go to university and I have retired. Yes. With KLF. Um, KLF, Kingdom Legacy Fellowship. You had okay. a program. And you called me out and you told me my mom was praying for me. So you asked of my mom. And uh, she's also into ministry. So she, her whole prayer is that I would also take in a step. And she's always been praying for so, me. So why are you not taking a step? Go and take the step now. Yes, what please. are you waiting for? Go. It is done. <laughs> Brother, whatever that has been used to hold you back, A lot. I lose you now. In the name of Jesus. And you are free forever. Eh? Because I don't know. My, my work that I'm doing. Like don't worry about your work. God says he has lost you. Okay. Whatever it is done. Upon the degree, upon the masters, upon everything. I've lost a lot. Upon the degree, upon the masters. Yes, still, I'm not working. Still, you are not working. Yes. Now I'm, I'm depend on your mother. I'm going to my 37 years. You're going to 37 years. Come. Can you stretch your hands on him right now? We are praying and we are telling God, Lord. You see, let me tell you something. There is what brings restoration. Hmm? What brings restoration? And we are going to pray over his life for the restoration because he, he has been loose, but he's still in the same place. Oh. But only that whatever has been loose. But now we are directing our prayer into restoration. Whatever I was, you know, you, you were not in that service. But you were in that service. A young guy came to church. He's called David. See, I hear something. And this guy had lived in China for some time. And decided to come back to Ghana to do something. Then when he came to Ghana, they said they would not allow him to go to China. So I did not know this story. I got to know the story after the prophecy. So I was ministering in National Theater and I picked him up. Then I said, sir, I'm going to say something, but naturally it will not make sense. But spiritual, that is what is happening. The passport you are using, someone has poo-pooed on it. I said, that is it. And I said, this is your passport number. And he said, sir, it is true. I said, what I said? He, he has gone. They said they won't give him. I said, don't worry. When do you want to go to China? It was a Sunday service. Then he said, later by Friday or Thursday. So I said, are you sure? He said, yes. And I said, this is what the Lord is saying. Number one, the Lord said, go back to the Chinese embassy by tomorrow. No, no, that wasn't the way. No, you should go back. I'm coming. Let me remember that thing very well. The Lord said, as he has said, it has happened. That he will go to China on the date he said he will go the Thursday or the Friday. And that is not the only thing. The wife, who they have married for a long time without a child. The wife will become pregnant. And the wife will become pregnant when he has relocated from China and all of them are living in America. And other things in connection with it. Then, the next day after the prophecy, he was home. Then someone called him and said, they are doing a party for, for anyone who have lived in China for over 10 years or something and above. So he should come. So he decided, because it was sudden, he went to the party wearing jeans. The one he got, the people were wearing their three-piece suit. So he just saw that and then what to. So he was just at the party and decided to just move out. And he was just at the entrance and here was a Chinese man. And the two of them started talking. And asked the number of years he has lived in China, he said it. And the man was also talking. And the number of years the man had lived in Ghana was the same. And the man asked for his name. And when he mentioned the name David, the man said his son is also called David. And the man said, he's the, is it, I don't know, the, is it, 
commissioner or whatever, what they call to the Chinese embassy. Then he said, what do you want? And he said, I came here to, to get my visa. And they said, no, they will not allow. The man said, follow me. And went and said, this is my son. Tomorrow, when he come, let him be the first person you will visit him. Then, the next day he went there. And the person, where is the, the son of the, I don't know how they call it, ambassador or whatever. Then they took him. By that time, he was gone. When, since he went, he has been calling, has, I think he has been sending small offering. I read but the big one have not come yet. And now, he has moved to America, and they don't only have one child. They have two or three now. As the Lord said it. Master, what do you want? Uh, like, I've, I've started a business um, Monday, that, um, Tuesday, that I'll start a job. No, slow, because I can't hear when people talk. I say, I've started a business right now. That we are, It's a product that you have started right now. That on, on Tuesday, that you, you start bringing it outside to let and um, people buy until you have started. My name is Bernard El Bernard. Yes. We'll pray for you now. And today, in the name of Jesus, we release your helpers. Yeah. And we release speed into your life. Yeah. And everything you might have lost, every pain you might have gone through out of this situation, God will honor you. Stretch your hand towards my brother and begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. And begin to pray. 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 Father, we demand now speed. We confirm now. 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 Father, we confirm it. In Jesus' name. Carry that thing that contains the... Um, carry it. Father, I declare a transfer of anointing Amen. that will make your servant a testimony in every area of his life. Lord, that which his degree could not give him, that which his master's degree could not put into his hand, I demand in the name of Jesus, let it be released. Lord, we have always said, one genuine encounter with you is worth more than ten Degrees from various discipline. Let this be one encounter that will empower his academic intelligence and bring him to the place where he will be needed. Lord, this morning, this evening, I open the heavens over your servant. I open your heavens over your servant. I open the heavens over your servant. Over your servant. And Lord, as I give him this mantle, I release him that to go and wipe his own tears and wipe the tears of many around him and wipe tears of community wipe tears of an entire nation father i also pray that you will send your seven helpers someone from somewhere who will appear to help him send your seven helpers i use him as a point of contact and i pray for anyone here also going through a similar situation. I ask so oh God, do it for them as you have done for him. Amen. Father, I thank you. Amen. Take one. You, you, you will sing it soon. When we close, and I go up to see my father. Try and come there. I I, I can feel your pain. My father died for my six months. My father died. What do you say? My father died. My father died for six months. My father died for six months. 
a university. Man, why should my fit in university? I better be I mean, masters, I'm a boy. Also, that my eight mama could be any way you may do. Eight mama could be any way you may do. She said, You have one pay amount. So change your convention from now. Change your countenance from now. Mama can't eat here. My bread, my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread, my bread. You see, 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 any and come share. You are still recounting what you have gone through. I know it's the evidence of the pain, but I want to start. In, uh, Ekwa, go, go and read the story of Hannah when she was looking for children. She was provoked. I know you have been provoked. She was provoked, but her provocation brought her into a deeper relationship with the Lord. Even when the man of God started provoking him, he saw the provocation of the man of God as an encouragement. So he began to explain his issue. And the Bible said, after the man of God had spoken, her countenance changed. I want your countenance to change. Tim, Tim, my mom excuses. Masha, I'm coming here with you. Maybe it can be important. But I'm telling you, God will do it. But I'm telling you, God will do it. Look at me. Hmm? I can feel it because I've been there. I am going to force there was from a mimpeki, but me try my best. When I came to the city of Accra, I could be there for three months, and I will not receive a, a single missed call. Not call, oh, missed to, you flash, so that I miss it. I did not. So I just came to the conclusion that no one think about me. But you see, the Lord made me to understand. Until your life produce fruit, people will not look for you. Amen. So I made up my mind, Abraham, I will produce fruit. Amen. And that brought me into a deeper relationship. And that's what I want you to do. Are you a member of this church? No. Share. I could be a chapel if you are. Because I could be a Cynthia, I could be a assessment. I could be a member of What's the chapter of Sabbath time? Yeah. In the book of first service, now by second service, wah. Acha. You know, I don't know our balance. Anna, aha, until your demo, your punsa, brebon, moslo, acha. It is done. Brother, get that for me. Um, God want to reward you. And uh, he won't reward you because many years ago, instead of you studying, you decided to combine doing the work of God in addition with your studying. Is it true? When you were leading people in assemblies of God. Yes, please. Is it true? Yes, please. Okay. So the Lord said he want to reward you. And I see he's rewarding you with an anointed. Amen. And he will cause you to stand out Amen. in everything you are into. I see a hand that has been stretched out like this. And I see the hand pulling you. And the Lord said, wherever you have tried with your strength, and your strength has not been able to give you the answer, the result you are looking for. From tonight, a hand has been stretched. And it's the supernatural hand of God. And it will bring meaning into everything you are into. Get up for me. The Lord said, you shall become the help that many will look for. You will become the help that many will look for. Get up for me. You are an honorable person. You carry the spirit of honor. And the Lord said, because of this, he will use you to reduce unemployment all around you. Get that for me. The Lord said, I should tell you to get closer and closer and closer and closer to him. Because when your level of relationship with him changes, certain things will change in your life and it will become a testimony for everyone to see. Get that for me. The Lord said, that amount of money you need for that business, someone will see you. You don't know the person from anywhere. He will ask you, I feel like helping you. And he will ask you how much you need. When you mention how much you need, he will give you twice the money you need for that business. Get up for me. 
whatever that has opened its mouth and begin to eat greatness in the family. Right now, I see the angel of the Lord have stopped it and his will is taking place. Get up for me. The Lord said, I shall tell you, 